Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Beach, and for those of you that don't know me, I make videos about how to get the most out of your practice sessions, and I make videos about me practicing as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content. Today we are going to be talking about the piccolo trumpet. Uh, it's a video I've wanted to make for a long while because over the course of time, I feel like I've gone from struggling a ton to being able to play things like the Brandenburg, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you, hoping that you could get something out of it and be able to grow on the piccolo as well. When I first started playing the piccolo trumpet, I remember being able to actually physically play the piccolo trumpet. It wasn't like I couldn't get any sounds to work at all, but I do remember more or less playing the piccolo trumpet like it was a C trumpet or a B flat trumpet and using a ton of energy and feeling like I would just get tired right away. And especially when I was articulating, things would just fall apart relatively quickly. And let alone some of the more difficult pieces like Brandenburg to get through, I just felt like any solos were just such a challenge for me to accomplish when I was performing. When studying with Barbara Butler at Northwestern, she taught me uh, not only this warm-up that I'm going to share with you in this video, but she also shared with me kind of a philosophy about playing the piccolo trumpet that has really helped to make things so much easier when I play. The philosophy that she shared with me was that everything on a piccolo is a high note. Instead of thinking lower, middle, and upper register like we can tend to do on our big instruments, bringing that same kind of mindset into a piccolo trumpet experience is not going to go well. There are no low notes, there are no mid notes, everything is a high note and we need to approach the piccolo accordingly. She shared with me this really simple warm up. I'm going to share it with you once in sort of an easier format and then once in the format that I do it in my own practice. You're basically going to play the first five notes of a scale, you're going to go back down to the root, and then you're going to play the scale all the way up to the top and then go back down. What you're aiming to do is build up a lot of energy in the beginning part of the exercise. So when you get to the fifth of the scale, you're really trying to think as much vibrancy and energy and excitement as possible, and then hold that as you go down and then continue it as you get to the top note. The goal of this is to try to get that fifth to feel like the top note in terms of ease of playing and things like that. From there, you're just going to keep expanding upward. This is a sort of a stretching exercise as Barbara describes it. The goal is to just over the course of time expose our chops to something a little bit difficult for us to do and then just let our chops figure it out over the course of time. We're not really freaking out about this. We're not trying to make it happen. We're just approaching it and sort of just letting the skill development take the time it needs to figure it out. So here's a version of the exercise that I've taught a few students who just started learning the piccolo trumpet. Uh, it's going to be starting on C, going up to G, back down to C, up to C, and back down to C again. This is what that sounds like. From there, you're gonna go to C sharp and D and E flat and E major and F major. And once you get to F major, you're basically at where I start the exercise when I warm up. So this is basically saying if you are not ready to play high Fs on the piccolo, which is totally fine, you can just adjust the exercise down a little bit in terms of range to make it a little bit more accessible for you. When I first started playing this exercise, I played the exercise pretty much exactly the same way I just presented to you, except starting on F. Now in the video, I'm going to show you how I do the exercise today, how I've developed the exercise. It's very similar, it's not a whole lot different. I've just added a few bells and whistles here and there to sort of expand what the exercise is. The first change is going to be I've added an upper neighbor note to sort of just start stretching a little bit right from the beginning of it. Uh, and then I've added the lower um, root fifth root root, you'll hear what I'm talking about, on the lower end of the octave to just make sure I'm connecting all the registers of the instrument right from the get-go. I'm just going to demonstrate a few of these. I'm not going to go in sequential order, but when I would actually do it, it would be F, F sharp G, G sharp A, B flat B, however high I can get. Here's just a few of those so you can see what that looks like.
Before we close out this video, I just wanna take a second to share some of the things I've learned from failing a lot on the piccolo trumpet that I hope will help you get a lot more value out of it without failing nearly as much as I did. The first is gonna be related to the breath. It can be easy to think on the piccolo trumpet that we need to take a huge capacity breath to be able to get through things or have enough air for the high notes. But to me, I think that's not right. The way that I approach it, and you can watch when I'm displaying some of these clips, I take a pretty relaxed breath. It's a sufficient breath. I'm not trying to get no air or anything like that, but it's not, I'm not trying as hard as I possibly can to get as big of a breath as I can. I'm mostly thinking I want the air to be uh, a very sort of quick or intense breath to match the intensity that I want to put back into the piccolo trumpet when I play. And the second tip I have for you is to just play less on the piccolo trumpet. When I was younger, I played a few different Brandenburg concertos. One was with Gunther Schuller in Spokane, Washington, and one was with the Knoxville Symphony, uh, I think back in 2013, 2014. And at this point, I was thinking to myself, I really gotta get in shape for the Brandenburg. So I started practicing for, you know, 20 minutes or 15 minutes and just trying to keep up the intensity. I'd warm up, I'd play some uh, concone exercises, then I got into the actual Brandenburg itself, just trying to build up that raw strength that I thought I would need to be able to play the Brandenburg. I'm not saying that this work wasn't valuable in the long run and sort of a building block uh, way of thinking about it, but it certainly wasn't helpful for me and my actual ability to perform the Brandenburg, as evidenced by the fact that when I got to actually playing the Brandenburg, I was just tired in those concerts and I didn't play my best. I certainly got through it and it wasn't a complete failure, but it didn't feel strong. It didn't feel like I could you know, get through the whole thing. And I think a big reason is I was just playing the piccolo too much. The way I approach the piccolo now, when I am working on it, it's been a little while since I've picked up the piccolo, but I generally try to aim for five to 10 minutes a day of practice. And when I'm first starting, probably three times a week, and then maybe the second week, four times a week, the third week, five times a week, etc. I'm mostly focused on trying to play a fair amount in that five to 10 minutes, matching the fact that piccolo is a very intense effort. We don't necessarily need to be able to play the piccolo for a long time in the Brandenburg, but we have to keep up a lot of intensity when we do it to be able to stay up in the upper register. And so I want my practice to more mimic that need or that challenge when I'm performing. And you know, like I said, five to 10 minute practice sessions seem to do that much more effectively. All right, everybody, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content from this channel. If you have any questions about piccolo trumpet or you want me to hear you play the piccolo trumpet, I'd love that opportunity. I'll leave a link down below so you can sign up for a free 30 minute discovery call where we can talk about how I might be able to help you reach your goals on the piccolo trumpet or otherwise. Thanks so much for watching the video. Always remember, stay strong, be kind to yourself, never stop growing, and we'll see you in the next video.